Just stop beating yourself up. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I'm saying it to you because it's the truth. And you are too close to the situation to see it. I created this situation. No, your father created the situation by letting things spiral out of control with Kate's. You have nothing to be sorry for. But if he admits that he can... Then he is doing the best thing for everyone involved. Your father got us into this, and he's the one who has to get us out. Wait. Wait. Thank you. Got a little too ambitious thinking I could carry it all. It kind of happens to the best of us. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you were great in there. I know it was your first time as a police witness, but you seemed like a pro. I appreciate it. I'm mostly just glad that it's over. Yeah. One last thing to worry about. Guess you can add your mom to that list. What do you mean? I, I just figured you'd be relieved about the new evidence in her case. What new evidence? I haven't heard of any new evidence in my mom's case. I, I just assumed because you work with Robert Scorpio in the DA's office that you would have been notified. Well, I haven't, so it's Bill. Look, I, I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't say anything else. I just wouldn't want to do anything that would jeopardize the case, I mean, let alone my job. Yeah, no, I get it. Keeping things close to the vest is a big part of my job, too. Not always easy. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. It's nice to know we might have some good news coming our way for once. Your family definitely deserves it. Yeah. Though I'm racking my brain, and short of Sonny or somebody else confessing to Kate's murder, I can't imagine what it would be. Well, look at me. I know you've been under a lot of stress lately. How are you doing? I'm okay. Better than the other night when we ran into each other at the Brown Dog? You seem like you had a lot to get off your chest. I talked your ear off, huh? Happy to listen. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Is everything all right? It's not that good news you mentioned earlier. Your dad is not a victim here. His recklessness in so many areas of his life was bound to catch up with him at some point. And today is that day. Yes, because of me. You have to stop blaming yourself. We have to go. Where? You have a hearing scheduled in two hours. I have to get to Port Charles. He did it. He confessed. Let's go. Listen to me. You have to remember what I said to you. You are not responsible. You're not. 